What I'd like to do now is explain how you progress through your exercise book. So when you receive your exercise book, it will look a bit like this. Inside, you will have a page that's colourful, and that's a calendar. You'll have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and so forth. Each day you'll notice there are two different colours. Okay. Inside, there will be a number of exercises. There are blue exercises. There are red exercises, and there are also green exercises. What you need to do is, when you start, open up to the calendar and have a look at what day you're starting on. So perhaps you're starting on Wednesday. Wednesday there's a red and a green. What that means is you'll turn first to the very first red exercise. So that's the first red exercise. Read through the exercise and carry out the exercise. Once you've finished, place a tick on number one. Then go back to the calendar. You have a green one to do as well. So let's find the green ones. The very first green exercise. Read the exercise, carry it out, and place a tick on number one. And you've done your exercises that first morning. When you come back in the afternoon, it's best to do the exercises twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Take the booklet, turn to the calendar, it's still Wednesday, so we've got the red and the green to do. Turn to the red. With the same exercise you did this morning, it will all, it'll already have a tick here, so do the exercise, place a tick at number two. Then check what other colour you had, it was a green one. So find that green one that we did this morning. Go to the green one, carry out the green exercise, and tick number two. You will now, by the end of the first day, have one tick here and one tick there. You'll also have two ticks on the red exercise. You wake up the next morning, take your booklet. Yesterday was Wednesday, today it's Thursday. So we've got a blue and a red one to do. Let's turn to the very first blue exercise. There it is. Read it and carry it out. Place a tick at number one. It's the first time you've done this exercise, so tick there, number one. Then let's look at the calendar again. The other day, the other colour for Thursday was red. So let's go to our red exercise. So we've already got a tick at number one and number two, and we're doing this on Thursday, so we tick number three after we've done it in the morning. We then go back, oh that's the end of the morning exercise, we then come back again in the afternoon, and it's Thursday still, so we've got blue and red, so we go to the blue. We've already ticked here, now we tick number two after we've done it at, in the afternoon. And the other colour was red, so we find our red exercise, there it is, we've done, we've got a tick here, a tick there, a tick at three. And now we're ticking number four. So we do the exercise and tick number four, and we're done for Thursday. The next day comes along, Friday. So we go to the calendar. Friday, we've got blue and green. The blue already has one tick here, one tick there. So therefore, we'll be ticking at number three after we've done that exercise in the morning. We've also got green, so we'll find the green exercise that we're up to. And there's the, there's the green exercise. It's already got a tick here and a tick there from earlier in the week. So we'll be ticking number three in the morning. Then that afternoon, we'll come back and we'll do those two exercises again. Every time you come back to the, the calendar, you check what colour it is, you go to that exercise, the one you're up to, and you tick, tick the next one. Once you've ticked an exercise, right down to number 10. At that point, if that colour comes up again in the exercise, in the calendar, then you will turn the page and you'll start ticking the next exercise. And that is how you progress through the book. If you have any questions, do feel free to email. Thank you.